And today I'm bringing you a very fine weapon. I'm over at a friend's house and he was nice enough to let me uh, do a quick little video on it. This is a Smith & Wesson model 19-3. Of course you can tell it's blued. It's in excellent condition. It's got a nice polish to it. Originally these were designated as a combat magnum. And as you would know, the upgraded version from it that came out later was the Smith & Wesson Model 66. This one has the 4-inch barrel. Fires 6 rounds, but of course, as with any of my gun videos, we do our safety check. No rounds in the cylinder. Nothing down the barrel. We're clear, so let's continue the video. This gun, when it was originally designed, was designed just like this, and it has a few target features, and I'm going to go over them with you right now. First, we'll get a close-up. It's got the target hammer on it. Now it's extra wide, so that when you put your, if you're doing single shot and you put your thumb on it, it won't slip out of your hand. You can tell the gun's been very well taken care of. The checkering on it's fresh and in very good condition. There's no rust. I've seen a lot of the guns where, uh, even with the bluing, they haven't been very well taken care of and the bluing wears off and they wind up going into disrepair. The next feature on this gun is the trigger. I'm going to rotate the gun around, not pointing it at myself. And as you can see, on the trigger, you can see the serrations. The serrations are so that your finger doesn't slip while you're pulling while you're pulling it. This helps with accuracy when you're doing a competition shoot. Now the gun is in original factory condition. I want you to see these excellent, excellent cherry wood grips on it. They've got the diamond cut pattern. These are the originals. I've, I've seen some aftermarket ones and they'll either have been uh, Coca Bolo or some of them are just plain white pine. Now what makes it good is right here. The Smith & Wesson logo in it. And it's got the original cutouts. I've seen some that are sold aftermarket and they wind up not doing uh, this detail properly where they have the indent and it winds up not fitting your hand properly. Now the back, it's got a full back strap and that's a square butt. Of course they have the other models, they have the round butt and that's a purely a shooter's preference. The handles are been extremely well taken care of. Let's get you a close-up of this side. First there's your Smith & Wesson logo. Excellent, excellent condition. Here's your 357 Magnum markings. Now, one thing that you can tell from the care of this gun, on the front of the barrel, you don't have any wear marks. Now, how you wind up with wear marks is that people will take the brass brush and instead of only going one direction, they'll pull it back and forth, which scars the front of the barrel. This gun has obviously been very well taken care of. Now let's go over a couple of other things on it. Little technicals. Of course, like I said before, it's got the 4-inch barrel. Now, the difference in this uh, Model 66 and a few other ones, let's see if we can get it in focus here. There's uh, no red outline on the front. And no white outline sights on the rear. This uh, uh, weren't standard at the time, but you can get them traded out in case you have a gun that you would uh, want to be doing competition with and you want to have the white outline sights with the red ramp. That's purely a, a shooter's choice. It doesn't detract from the weapon. It's just something that makes it a little bit faster to sight. Of 
Of course, it's a six shot cylinder. Fairly heavy, it shoots 357 Magnum rounds, and it'll shoot 38 plus P, and you can use wad cutters for a range time. You gotta save that money when you can. The back strap's in excellent condition, and the top ramp is in good condition also. Let's see if we can get, get some nice close ups of this. Let's see if we can bring the camera in. That's not one to cooperate too good today. There we go. Now, one thing I want to go over with you what I've seen on some, uh, we don't have quite enough light. But you got to check when you if you're looking for one of these guns to make sure there's no flash cutting on the top straps and and no flash cutting where the barrel seats. You see a few of them where people have made their own home loads and you'll wind up with uh, flash burns or actual uh, flash cutting. Now one more thing for the as far as the construction of the gun it doesn't have the uh, barreling going all the way out this is a partial it's not a full lug it's a partial lug that it shows the age the most of the new ones have a full lug barrel And the gun is in really, really good condition. I'm going to hold it up here. I don't have the actual weight for you right now, but I believe they're around 22 ounces. 22 to 26. Unloaded. It's just a really excellent, excellent weapon. I'm really happy to uh, be able to bring this to you today. This isn't my own personal weapon, but I sure wish it was, let me tell you. I'll give you a nice little close up here. I'm going to have to come back by and show my partner uh, my Rusty's rags that I use. You've seen my video previously where I've used the Rusty's rags on my own weapons, and boy, I'm sure that. Even though this weapon's in excellent condition, it would put a really nice shine on it. Well, this is W Copen 38. We've gone over a video of the Smith & Wesson Model 19-3. It's a combat magnum. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. It's been a real big pleasure. This is W Copen 38 signing out and saying... I'll be back with more for you.